So, here we have a graph of a function. We can see we get some nice behavior here. It's increasing and decreasing, increasing and decreasing. So first thing we're going to do is label our relative extrema. Remember, if it goes from increasing to decreasing, that's going to give us a relative max. If it goes from decreasing to increasing, that's a relative min. So we've got a couple relative maxes and a couple of relative mins. So there's our relative extrema. And if we label them, we've got a max, a min, a max, and a min. All right. And they're relative because they're not absolute max and mins. For instance, if I look at this point as a relative max, notice over here i got a piece of graph that goes much higher. And the same can be said for the mins. Now let's think about what's going on at each of these points. If we think about drawing tangent lines at each of these points, our tangent lines would be perfectly horizontal. Okay, well think about what that tells us. If we have a horizontal tangent line, we have a slope of zero. Well, if we have a slope of zero, that means our derivative is zero at all those points. Okay. Now let's think about what's going on in between those points. You know, our function was increasing, and it was decreasing, increasing, decreasing. Remember what an increasing function says about our derivative. It means it has to be positive. Just like if it's decreasing, it has to be negative. So what's happening here is we see that the derivative goes from positive to zero to negative. That's going to give way to the, what's called the first derivative test. And we can see this continues. It goes from negative to zero to positive. So in between switching from positive to negative, it has to hit zero. So to determine where functions are increasing or decreasing, well, it's important for us to know where the first derivative is zero.